Everybody knows picture discs, but did you know that picture discs can also be shaped picture discs? So not just a picture on the vinyl itself, but cut into really unique ways, either with a lathe cut or in a traditional way. In this video, I am going to show you some of the craziest cut picture discs that I own. Also, a quick word from our sponsor, Audioblocks. So before we get into the awesome picture discs, I just want to say thank you to Audioblocks for deciding to sponsor this video. Very kind of them. And because of that, I want to tell you about their service real fast. Now, it isn't vinyl related, but it is music related, and I use their service, so I think that maybe you could find use for it too. Finding royalty free music is very difficult. When you're making a project, be it a YouTube video, vlog, short film, or just anything that you would need the rights to music for, it's very expensive to get the rights of any song that you've ever heard of. Anything that has a name attached to it, you're gonna be paying a lot of money to use that track, especially if you're making money off your video. A way around that is to use a royalty-free music library. And I do that for all the background music in my videos. Now, there's a bunch of different places you can choose from, but I think that Audioblocks genuinely is the best choice. They have one of the largest stock libraries with over 100,000 clips, sound effects, loops, and music for you to pick from. Every single clip you would get from there comes with a royalty-free agreement, so you will never get hit with a copyright claim, which is the most terrifying thing as a YouTuber. The site interface is incredibly intuitive. You can basically pick the mood you want, you can pick the genre, and then you put your mouse over the song and it plays you a preview of the song right off the bat. So you don't have to click anything, it's not cumbersome. We're actually going to be giving away seven free days of Audioblocks if you want to test it yourself so you can see all the royalty free music they have to offer. Just go to audioblocks.com slash YouTube to get started with your free seven day trial and begin downloading some amazing royalty free music. I'm going to use some in this video right now. Now let's get to the picture discs. So picture discs, as we've talked about in the past, are hit or miss quality. And I feel like as you cut the record into a different shape, it doesn't really affect the quality because it's not cutting into the actual record. It's cutting into the area outside the record, which is not playable, so it's fine. Not all of these sound incredible, but they look awesome. And I own them mostly for novelty, but I've actually spun a couple of them. First up, we have Broccoli by Big Baby Dram and Little Yachty. Now, Broccoli is a hit radio uh, pop rap song about marijuana. And as you can see, this awesome picture disc, which was a Record Store Day exclusive this year, actually has this giant stone broccoli rolling up a, rolling up a joint with more broccoli. Um, this is the weirdest thing ever. It's so, it's so bizarre, but I'm like rolling up a joint with your fingernail. It's like part of you. Yeah, Maybe. it's a little, if you think about it, it's a little twisted. It's like, it's like taking a, yeah, ugh, I don't want to think about it too much. Basically, this has the song Broccoli on there, which I'm not a huge fan of Little Yachty or Dram, to be honest. I think Dram is a good voice, but I tried listening to his album and... So the record itself plays in a little seven inch diameter area right here, and the rest is just this awesome broccoli afro. And uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite shaped picture discs. Weird. Next up, we have a musician I truly respect, Mark Knopfler. And this is a guitar, tri-guitar shaped picture disc. Uh, one side is Money for Nothing and the other is Love Over Gold uh, by his band Dire Straits. Now, Dire Straits is an exceptional band. I think that some of their earlier albums are some of my favorite classic albums of all time. His voice is amazing, his guitar tone is unlike anything else. And unfortunately, when he went solo, he didn't win me over as much. I didn't really love a lot of his solo endeavors. But this was cool because, I mean, it's a Dire Straits picture disc, I had to pick it up. And I got it in a haul video I posted not too long ago when I went to Long Beach. And this is actually worth a lot more than I bought it for. So I was like, all right, I have to grab it. Now, three guitars, it's definitely a, a fun image. This would be a cool thing to frame on your wall. But yeah, so this is an awesome shaped picture disc. Put on your yarmulkes, folks, because I'm about to hit you with some Gefilte Joe and the Fish. Now, obviously that's a playoff Country Joe and the Fish, the classic band, but this is uh, Hanukkah Rocks. It's uh, the world's only senior citizen Jewish rock band. <laughs> I saw this and I cracked up in the store and I had to buy it. Um, of course, this is a Star of David shaped translucent blue record with Hits such as Hanukkah Rocks, Walk on the Kosher Side, Matzo Man, and <laughs> and, na <laughs> and Napper's Delight. <laughs> Why Napper's? They're like, is it because old men sleep a lot? Obviously, it's a play of Rapper's Delight, and then Matzo Man is Macho Man, and Walk on the Kosher Side is Walk on the Wild Side. And then Hanukkah Rocks seems to be just a original for Gavilta Joe and the Fish. Uh, this is super funny. Uh, if I owned a synagogue, I would make sure this was 
prominently on display in the in the lobby. I actually haven't played this, but I think I might have to after this video. This is this is absolutely ridiculous. And on the back, it actually has pictures of Gavilta Joe and the fish. This next one is one of the best pop songs of all time, and I own this back before they just reissued it on Record Store Day. So when they reissued it exactly how the first one was, I was a little bummed out as a collector because it was a collector's item and people wanted it. But I'm glad more people can have it because this is the Africa-shaped disc for Toto's Africa. Now, that seems pretty apt. The B side of this disc is actually Rosanna, another classic Toto tune, but let's be real, everyone's buying this for Africa. Africa is one of the best pop songs of all time. If you don't know what it is from me talking about it, listen to the first five seconds of the song on YouTube and you will know exactly what song it is. This is really cool. Uh, I actually might frame this just because it's, it's awesome, shaped like Africa, plays Africa, um, and I have the actual album. Toto 4 if I wanted to listen to the song Africa. But this is awesome and I'm glad it was reissued because now everyone can enjoy the visual beauty and the audio beauty that is Africa by Toto. And last but certainly not least, it's a disc of me! That's me. That's right folks, that's me on a record. A bunch of my friends back in the day all got together with one of those uh, companies that cuts their own lathe cut records and they made 10 copies of this really crappy quality. Like this is like almost paper thin. It still plays and it has surface noise, but it plays better than you'd expect. But this is me and there are two tracks on it. The first one is Ode to the Warped Record, which is the audio from a short video one of my friends took at a party where I was slightly intoxicated and my friend had a record on their wall framed, but the record was so severely warped that it was like, you could tell from it being on the wall. So I took it off when I was ranting about why it was so warped. You could never play this on a turntable. Never play that. Why would Look you? at this! The deal would go everywhere! It would be distorted and a waste of everyone's time. How does that make you feel? Bad. Um, not that funny in retrospect. Very had to be their kind of moment, but they took that and made it the first track of this. And the second one is a rap song. I did. Back in college, my friends have a rap group. It was entirely joke rap. They rapped over things like the Donkey Kong Country soundtrack, and it was actually pretty funny, but they wanted me to rap on a song, and they gave me my own interlude. Uh, it's actually pretty good, but I'm not gonna post it on this channel because it's very embarrassing, although I'm sure someone will dig it up. Second track is that, so even you can have a record of you if you work hard enough. I'm always on the hunt for new, exciting cut picture discs, and there's a ton of them that I don't own because they're very rare. If I get five more that are awesome, I will make a second edition of this video if you guys like it. Leave a comment and let me know which ones you have or which ones you know of that are awesome that I should try to get. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Thank you again to Audioblocks for sponsoring this, and we'll see you soon for more awesome Too Many Records videos.